So, um, right now I have succeeded in connecting my HC05 Bluetooth module to my TNC 3.1, then to my laptop, and having the laptop right now talking to the uh, Bluetooth module. So, on top of that, I've done a little bit of uh, uh, Python coding where I can press a key and it will send a command to the uh, Bluetooth module which will transmit it no it'll uh, write Python out through Bluetooth to the Bluetooth module to the Arduino uh, to the TNC and into the com so over here if I press A A uh, W S D and you can see it you know reacts pretty quickly um, even though it's taking in basically an entire byte and uh, what's going on in hardware is that I have over here this HC05 uh, it took a little bit of programming and it took also a lot of trial and error to realize that uh, in this particular one the EN button is uh, the key uh, the key name or whatever as, as it's called in some other guides so EN means key uh, 3.6 3.6 to 6 volts is only for the uh, regulator which uh, you can actually see right over here this little guy it looks a little bit like a, like a Y if you shape it correctly uh, you can actually just plug it to 3.3 volt power from the teensy over here so uh, to get a, a view of both in, in hand uh, in one shot I mean uh, you got uh, the state, RxD, TxD, GnD, VCC, and EN. Uh, I did not wire the state. I think uh, this uh, particular output is just to um, say whether or not the Bluetooth is connected, which you can see visually here anyway. And uh, unless I actually need that, need to implement that in code, I don't plan to connect it. Uh, so RxD is obviously received to the Bluetooth module, which means you need to connect that to transmit from the uh, TNC. So uh, they're color coded, so red uh, is actually having to be white, but otherwise it's uh, TXD is orange, which is connected here to orange, blue, blue, green, green, whatever. So um, that happens, right? So here the TNC is basically just bouncing uh, serial data from Bluetooth to the computer. Doing It's not doing anything itself right now. And then the uh, USB cable obviously connects over here to the laptop and then finally we've got right over here uh, some code for both uh, Python and for uh, the Arduino so in the Arduino sketch or whatever you got uh, some pretty basic stuff going on but it took a lot of debugging for me to actually get this going uh, initially I had to play around a lot with the serial values uh, I used serial 1 I connected the Bluetooth module to serial one and then serial goes straight to USB computer and uh, I have two if statements over here for checking serial if there's serial data coming from the USB I read it out and uh, at the time I was actually read writing it straight to the uh, to the USB module you can see that here and then if I had data coming in from the serial I'm sorry from the USB it, I'm sorry from the Bluetooth it was going straight to the um, to the screen. So essentially my TNC right now is doing nothing more than just sort of acting as an in-between. And then over here, once I got that going, like only this is currently really active and truthfully only this part right here. So TNC is doing nothing more than just reading and then writing out straight to the screen right here. Uh, over here, if you can't see it. Okay. And I, I, I had to play around with so many different YouTube tutorials and bouncing around so many different uh, links. So this definitely took a lot of trial and error, no doubt. So uh, I created some, let's see, some basic Python code. So let's see, I started off with right over here. Start off with uh, serial. So okay, so starting up top, import serial. Right. So you have to have this particular module, and then you uh, create all your settings. You set the baud rate, which com you want to connect to, and when you have to connect to com, you actually have to know 
which one you want to connect to. So on my laptop, I have Windows 10. Uh, this little Bluetooth icon appears, or you can just go to Device Manager, and you can show Bluetooth devices. So yeah, you've got this guy, and then you can come over here and hit more Bluetooth options. And it will actually tell you right here. You've got COM4 and COM5. So outgoing means outgoing uh, to the Bluetooth module. So these are commands you send. And then 5 is incoming, which means this is data coming in from Bluetooth, like if you're reading from a sensor. So obviously you got to connect to 4, which is what was happening over here. Over here, if I can just get to it. Right here. And then... At some point, um, after playing around with everything, I let's see, I imported uh, MSV CRT. Basically, this is a Windows-specific module in Python that you can use to do some basic uh, event handling. Uh, for example, not event handling, but really just uh, playing around with with keyboard inputs. So, for example, uh, if I say if keyboard got hit, then get the character that somebody pressed and then do stuff with it, right? So I made a little while loop, and right here, uh, I set a variable key equal to zero while key is not equal to Q for quit. Uh, if there's a keyboard hit, so a character gets pressed, the key is recorded from get character, and then uh, I write that out, serial.write key plus, and then you have to include carriage return and uh, line feed, I believe. So uh, a line feed, I believe is R or yeah, or left feed. Sorry if I got the naming wrong. And then carriage return is just new line, really. So, and then obviously I print the key that it is. So I print that over here. And now I'm just playing around with it. So just to put everything back again together, I've got the key here that I'll be pressing. And over here, I've got uh, the output. And just to also show how things are going, visually I mean I guess on the keyboard it's a little bit difficult to show everything together I suppose all right so I've got this guy and I'll be pressing right here W so oh, one, one right over here let me get this right here mm, here we go all right so I'll be pressing uh, W and you can see that me pressing W goes through Python to Bluetooth, transmitted, um, and then it goes into the Arduino and straight to the COM port. All right, there you go.